Hi guys, it's yours truly, Musicless here. So I had a whole video planned for you guys, and I still sort of do. But, unfortunately, the, uh, <laughs> not going to be as full as I planned. So, the first part of this, uh, this is basically an up-to-date video about what's been going on with the Go Gamers. So, uh, this intro, uh, so, starting off, I'm going to show you, I'm going to show a vlog that we did for me and Ethan Wayne in line for the Xbox Series X, uh, X slash S. Did I get an X or an S? You gotta watch to find out. Uh, then, um, it's gonna cut back to me real quick, uh, cause I gotta show you some stuff that I got today. Um, um, and then, uh, uh, yeah, that's probably gonna be about it. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, it's probably nothing important. Uh, all right, well, anyways, here's the uh, next gen and waiting in line with Ethan N. Enjoy. I'll see you right after that. Hey, guys. Hi, guys. MC here. Hey, subscribers. It's Ethan here. Uh, we're currently here, here wait, waiting for the oh. Xbox Series X <laughs> launch. Launch. So, uh, right now, I bought my Nintendo Switch. And I, I got my, I got the PS Beaches in case. And I got my Nintendo Switch Lite, as well as get ready for the shocker of the day. Just in case. Oh, my 3DS too. Haven't used this in a while, and I actually just bought two games last night, but it's this system. So, yeah, uh, we're here just hopefully getting my Xbox Series X pre-order. From... And... I gotta tell you the news a little bit. We're like in the sixth or seventh person in line right now. Exactly. Now, let's yeah. hope they have at least 12. 12, because from what I've been here on Twitter, they have anywhere from 6 to 12. 12, 12, 12 pre-orders for the Series X on uh, certain stores. But I'm not 100% positive if that's going to be true. So cross your fingers, they have a lot of consoles. Otherwise, otherwise I'm back to square one. Well, again. I well, at least I was been square one for a while. Well, not for a while, but just a few days. Yeah. Uh, either way, way, cross your fingers, guys. I get get a series X. Otherwise, it's back to square one for me. Like where I was before, guys. All right, we'll do another one in a little bit bit closer to uh, uh, them opening. So yeah, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, so another small vlog update. Uh, clearly, clearly, really I'm not the only one here, here to get the Xbox Series X. As I originally thought, it seems like we have a lot of people lining up for this. So, this could take a while. Uh, there's a whole line of people right behind me, and there's a couple of people in front of us. Well, it's getting pretty long from what I've seen. Yeah, maybe some of these people behind us. Possibility? Why not get the X? I'd be pretty, I'd be pretty bummed if I wouldn't be able to get to Series X either. All right. Uh, but um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I got, in case you guys can't tell, I actually got a brand new shirt. Like it? <laughs> yeah, as you can tell, I'm also wearing my Xbox hat I got from GameStop as well. So I'm all geeked out for the Xbox. That's for sure. Uh, and Ethan just the other day got a PlayStation shirt, which he will wear when we do I would already wore before this. Yeah, but Ethan will wear that for the unboxing boxing of the PlayStation 5. Around November. Yep. So, we're, all, we're both all ready for the PlayStation and Xbox Series X launch when they come out. Which, by the way, in case you didn't know already here, which I doubt at this point, they're literally two days apart. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, literally, the PlayStation is launching on the 12th, and the Xbox Series X is launching before that. That's probably the closest I've seen the consoles launch, launch for those two in particular. That's for sure. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, like I said, literally there's a lot of people in front and in back of us, so yeah. Uh, while we were waiting, I did play a little bit of uh, 3D All Stars on screen just to get ready. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, so the next progress update will be a little bit closer to when the opening doors. 
doors. And then me and Ethan will move forward to the final part of this mini vlog inside of Ethan's car to let you know if me and Ethan luck if I looked out or if I didn't get it. Cross your fingers. There's a lot of people here, so at least I'm not leaving out. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, if it weren't for Ethan, I wouldn't be going to this launch. I wouldn't be able to pre-order in the first place. So, thanks, bud. Yep. All right. Give you a uh, podcast update. Slow switch when game stops opening. Hopefully, we'll be able to get get it. Hopefully. Oh, really? Yep. Alright guys, uh, me and Ethan just got inside of GameStop, finished up my pre-order for my Xbox Series console, but I got a little bit of bad news, and possibly good news, but uh, let's get to the bad news first. So I did manage to get an cons uh, Xbox Series console, but unfortunately... Yep, it's the Series S. They, ran out, they only had seven Xs. Oh. Okay, so I want to tell you a little story real quick since I just heard back there in uh, in the store I was with MC. Okay, so there was this one guy that is trying to get the Xbox Series X for, for his son. But let's just say they kind of messed him up. And he thought he was going to get it. But for some reason, the last minute, the one order just... Pew! They ch got changed on them. So, which means there's only six, not seven. So that kind of made 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 that made that. I feel I feel so bad for the guy. So I gotta say, it's probably on GameStop part that kind of messed him up. Oh, uh, Microsoft, but I'm not. Uh, I, I guess that makes me even more thankful that I got got a series console. Now they did. Now there is a possibility they did will get a second wave. So on the off chance that that happens, guess me and Ethan will be doing another camp out. Only this time it looks like we're gonna have to get a, up a little, little bit earlier than expected. Hopefully it's not another day. Hopefully it's hopefully it's a lot next week and not this week. Yeah, they're gonna have to know if I MC here first before I know because my situation is pretty much different. Exactly. We both work on Monday and Wednesday. If it's on any of those days, we're done. We're done. We're done. I pretty much have to get stuck. I'm stuck with that serious ass. Uh, now, the be so if I do end up getting the serious ass, it's not that terrible. I only, uh, I only have to re buy a couple games. Game, so it's not that big of an issue for me. Me, it's not like I have. It's not like uh, the PlayStation Five per se. So. Yeah, but for me, I guess it's might as well. I could tell. We could tell my situation is with Sony, and I could go ahead and show them what you guys remember that one day that I was able to get the PlayStation Five standard through the website, the actual Sony's website. But I think I'll prefer showing you that to be safe, so that guys, you know the scenario. I guess you always see our video. Yeah, I want you guys to understand my scenario too, because my scenario is getting me more crazier than his. Yeah. That's what I understand, of course. Let's see, no, I don't want that. Oh, jeez, where, where can it be? No, it's for PlayStation. That's right. Uh, okay. <sighs> Jeez. What a joke. <laughs> to me, it's a joke. Give him a second, guys. Okay, it was last week. I remember that. Okay, this is it. There it is. I think this is fine. They can, sh they can see this. That's fine. So this is e uh, Ethan's confession of him getting his new console. 
and also the other one too. I'm pretty sure the other one's not gonna get to get canceled. So. And he also got his charging station. Now the reason why I encourage you to get that is the PlayStation 4 Dual Dual Shock is not bad, bad, but its battery life, if I'm gonna be honest, is pretty terrible. Well, for the PS4 controller, or no, no, it's Dual Shock. Yeah, uh, but that's why I got the charging station. On the other chance Sony was sort of lying about the battery life, it's better safe than sorry. Anyway, so let's just explain here for a second. So, uh, for me on the Xbox side, this does mean that going forward, if I'm stuck at CS, I have to get games digital. Which isn't that big of an issue for me because I've gotten a good chunk of my Switch games digital. Digital digital. So if Nintendo were to do a digital-only console, I'd be a little bit more upset said if I missed out on that. That, because I prefer getting Nintendo games physical due to me growing up with uh, company. Uh, the reason why I don't mind with Xbox is because I only got a couple games, uh, games, uh, physical, physical. So Caliber, Shenmue, I could just rebuy those down the road since they will be sales for sure. But as for me, let's just say, I grew up like it with a Sony back in the day on PlayStation 2, but I'm more used to getting a physical on each company, well except for Microsoft. So, Ethan, Ethan would be a little upset if he got the digital edition only. That, but I'm so lucky, actually. Yeah, that's why I said I don't mind getting physical. And plus, almost every single one of my ga games that I got, got for uh, physical for Microsoft themselves is on Game Pass. So unless they remove them in the future, I don't have to worry about me buying Sea of Thieves or Forza. Yep. Uh... Although I probably will be buy them on each, uh, just to be safe. Uh, but, uh, that's not till later. Later. Uh, for the time being, I don't have to worry about that. So, and I don't have to worry, buy about, worry about rebuying any Sonic games because almost every single Sonic game I bought has been digital. The only physical version of Mania I even own is for Nintendo Switch. Yeah. So as for me, though, my situation. Let's just say MC kind of remind me of one thing. Okay, so my situation, I know one thing so far in the Sony's end. Amazon. Let's talk about Amazon first. Okay, so they did say that uh, they guaranteed it's not going to be, they actually not guaranteed, it's going to be pre-ordered on the s delivery date on the same day when that console comes out. Which is literally two days after Xbox Series X. And now. Let's just say MC kind of remind me when there's something about my and Sony's company themselves. These things, I meant he, MC, he thinks that it, it could cancel my pre order. But my pre order? Nah, I'll pretty much be fine. Because I feel, I feel like I'm like the few, fewer, few people that I actually got it first on there. Yeah. So yeah, that's that is the scenario that's happening right now. So we'll have to wait and see what goes down with Sony. Sony tends to their own orders for their invites, but I do know that no other uh, no other company outside of Amazon has canceled pre-orders. So for all I know, they could be straightened out. But uh, as for me, I only got the S. S. Now you could say, but there's plenty of other stores stores to buy buy Xbox. Like, I trust one model Best Buy. Okay, so let's just say, though, for me, though, I'm actually lucky I actually got the standard model, and I got to still check if the buy payment got, got through, though. Exactly. Here's the catch. They're not going to be one confirming directly until closer to launch. Kind of like even Final Fantasy Collector's Edition. Well, Final Fantasy instead of Remake, he means. Exactly. Exactly. So we won't know for sure if Ethan Scott is complete hands on it, uh, on it until then. On the off chance Sony switches Ethan to the S, uh, the digital edition, edition. If they offer them that, then that's going to be a bit of a bummer. But what can he do? Well, like I said, in general, they did say one thing though. In one of the few I heard, is this is a shocker factor in my opinion. I noticed they said. There was less stock on the digital edition than the standard model. That's kind of put me in the shock. Yeah, you would think the opposite. And the same thing was for the Xbox Series S. I was one of only two people to get it. 
So I'll be honest, I'm actually actually more luckier than ever to be honest. Because it's actually from the actual company I've been invited from. And that really happens. As you know in Go Game of History, this has only happened twice. Well, uh, this was PlayStation 5 for Ethan and the Nintendo Switch event. event. Which by the way, if you haven't already checked that video out, I know I'm probably saying that. Uh, be sure to do so. It's a little old, I'm not gonna lie, but it's the best one one I can think of. Think of. I'll probably save the audio for that and then redo it with a little bit better thumbnail. Thumbnail, but that's what from what we can remember. Yeah, so I'll be honest myself. Okay, maybe you can say I might have to keep this in back minded, but for the time being, I'm actually ten times luckier than ever. Yeah. As for me, I gotta. It looks like I'm gonna have to just on the off chance, chance uh, by force it on the road and get see if these down the road. As for the other, uh, uh, other third party purchases, Soul Calibur is on Game Pass for the time being, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, Shimu, on the other hand, I have to rebuy unfortunately, which stinks. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, sorry by name Namco, I'm not buying buying that one anytime soon. Mm -hmm. So it looks like my uh, Xbox One X S is going to be keep. Uh, I'm going to be keeping it for quite a bit, unless of course they have a second wave of X. X then. Sorry, yes, you're going bye bye. Yeah. So to me, guess you could say. I know you guys are going to be worried about me too, but um, I know he he said that uh, Sony has a bad uh, customer service. But who knows? I might be still lucky. Exactly. But we'll see see what happen, happens. But it looks like for the time being, our next-gen plans are set in stone. So unless it's a physical-only purchase for some of these games, which I highly doubt in this day and age. In fact, there's very few I can even think of. Think of. The la last time that ever happened was with Nintendo, honestly. Yeah, so what I do secure, the, I, I thought that I already secured it myself, but when I do secure it, completely and if you guys saw it my plan is i'll get godfall next as a free to play game yep uh now in terms of unboxings me and ethan start uh me and ethan have worked out uh we will be uh, once ethan gets his playstation 5 and i get my series s or x depending on what i get get hopefully for the second wave we will let you guys know and we will do an unboxing video together with both of our next gen consoles Yup, so I'll be honest, we have a craziest situation we have right now. But hopefully things will turn out good for the next gen for the Go Gamers. Uh, but looks like I might have to get that extra hard drive just in case for later. Later on, the off chance I am stuck with CS because I have a bad feeling it's not going to have that much space. Oh yeah, so one more thing before we cancel the video for a second. One more thing, I have to keep this in mind. As if you guys did not know what's going on with a couple games from the Sony Erics originally, maybe those couple games were going to be a PlayStation 5 exclusive. But guess what? They're going to PlayStation 4 as well. And particularly, three titles Sackboy, Horizon uh, Forbidden West, and Spider Man uh, Miles Most. Although that last one kind of makes sense. Yeah, so, so I'll be honest. If it, if it happens with Reggie Click, a fifth apart, which is hyped for, and put my my uh, high dissipated PlayStation 5 game for the next gen, if it turns out to be another PlayStation 4 game, Sony, I'm not gonna be happy with you. And you can expect me another rent video come in. There's your warning. That, just saying, there's your warning. Reason why I'm gonna be renting about this, because Sony themselves. They basically, they were like, let's say they think they believe in generations, but guess what? They sort of lied to us a little bit. Yeah, yeah. They never said they were PlayStation 5 games in the first place, place although they did say they were exclusive. So, uh, <laughs> not a good look, Sony. Uh, but I will say this. I am personally excited for the next generation of consoles, uh, but... In terms of Sega purchases for going forward, I might be exclusive to digital, guys. 
cross your fingers that's not the case case but i do plan to get an sonic game physically if it doesn't come to the switch otherwise it looks like i'm stuck on playstation 4 4 to get that version yeah but Clash your fingers to the most of Sonic games in the future, especially with its 30th anniversary comes to Switch. Uh, but, but, alright guys, that is all for now. Me and Ethan, Ethan are gonna, uh, Ethan's gonna drop me off at my place. Um, and we'll see you guys for the next Go Gamers video. But I hope you enjoyed this mini vlog. We haven't done one in a long time, so I figured we'd do it for this one. Uh... On the off chance uh, Series X does come out, we will do another mini vlog vlog with me documenting that. Only it's probably going to be a little bit earlier, so just a warning. Warning me if Maya will be a little sleepy. Well, if we manage to get lucky, that is. Yeah. Alright, that's all for now. This is yours truly, DJ Music Clues. Be there and signing out. And y'all have a nice gaming day. Well, there you go. How'd you enjoy that? Okay. So, unfortunately, I had an unboxing video that I did with Ethan earlier, because today we went to both Best Buy and GameStop to do some things. Things. Because uh, Google, unfortunately, said that uh, GameStop opened at 10, but it turns out they opened at 12, at 12. So, me and Ethan ended up having to waste two hours' time doing stuff around Walmart and Best Buy. But it wasn't totally unworth it. Uh, but we did buy three things today. Well, Ethan got two, but I got three. So, oh, the first thing, obviously, I should show off the Shining Hero of today. The one of two brand new Amiibos that were released today. Joker. Oops, <laughs> wrong way. There we go. Joker. Yep, I officially have... Of the um, uh, the Phantom Thief in my collection, and with this, this makes at least for now my Sonic uh, my uh, my Sega Amiibo collection complete. Since I have both Bayonetta and Sonic already, um, I'll show them at the end of this video with them up in my little display up there. There, uh, what I have my Edda Amiibo, Amiibo for Sonic and Bayonetta, right up on my Persona Five Royal Special Edition box. Uh, but yeah, I want to show that off real quickly. So yeah, here's Joker, close. Gotta say, just like Morgana says, <laughs> he's looking cool. Indy, e Morgana, he is looking cool. I love this amiibo. All right, so the next thing, obviously, in addition to today, uh, today being the release of a Joker amiibo, also a certain Bandicoot we know. No, got his. Technically, they probably need 9th or 6th installment. 8th or 16th installment, I'm not sure. I've lost count. Uh, but he got his brand new game today. Crash Bandicoot 4, or It's About Time that he got a new game. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. Uh, but yeah, so real quick, here's the box. Here's the back. And, oops, hang on. <laughs> Sheesh. Ah, oh, butter. I always forget. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Here we go. The disc. Uh, I gotta say it looks pretty awesome. Oh, look it up. A oh, little smiling bandicoot boy. I'm so happy. Oh. Well, last but not least. The Doom Slayer Collection. This was actually uh, available for $17. So it includes the first class. Uh, the first three Dooms and Dooms reboot. But I decided, for my sake, sake that we split it. So Ethan got the first three classic Dooms, and um, e I got uh, Doom 2016 since Eternal is currently on Game Pass. So, yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. It was uh, $7 at Best Buy. 
So that's what we got at Best Buy. Pretty awesome. Now I'm going to show you guys something big. Now this was originally part of our unboxing, but uh, so but thankfully this was recorded on my iPad instead. So this one does have audio. So I'll cut to that and then cut back to this. Ta-da! Yep, I got a, two new monitors. A small one for my Xbox. And then a huge one for my PlayStation and Switch. The reason why I said for my Xbox is because, unfortunately, the Xbox doesn't have a way to resize it without having to resize size a, a TV itself. And my current remote doesn't work with that. So right. I'm kind of stuck. Uh, but for the meantime, I'll just use that small monitor on it to play all my games. Thankfully, most of the games that I do own on Xbox will have resizing features. So I could just resize the screen in game. Oh, game, yeah. for, game for those. But for other games, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm stuck with my small screen for the time being. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, this is the big surprise. A huge screen. This should make playing those little uh, Miku a whole lot easier. <laughs> and I have no excuse, excuse for a bad screen now. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's the big surprise I wanted to show you guys. So definitely a setup. Okay, let's switch back to my laptop cam here. Well, I guess that's everything for now. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, for now. Al, this is yours truly, DJ Music Clues, uh, leader of the Go Gamers. Still feel like I'm missing something so important. Something that someone told me today that I should mention. What was it? Uh. Ah, uh, oh well. Well, it's music. <laughs> Hang on a second, guys. I got a call. Call from. Hello? This is Music Clues speaking. This, this is Ethan. Oh! <laughs> uh, hi, bud. Uh, watch, uh, you, I'm recording the video right now. Uh, what's up? Oh, uh, I just wanted to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, it's Ethan and guys. Wait, hey, Ethan, didn't you tell me that I was supposed to tell the fans something? Uh, yes, of course. Oh, uh, well, since you're here now, <laughs> lol, uh, why don't you mention it? Yeah. Yeah, a, a pretty big, a bit, pretty big surprise. Uh, I already showed them the one big surprise, uh, but the other one, one is something that Ethan also did today by himself with a friend. Yep. So, uh, uh, that, uh, I'll let that part play, and then we'll close out the video together. So, enjoy this little surprise that we had. Hey, subscribers! It's Ethan here. All right, guess what I have for a special guest today I'm going to do with him today? Say hi. Hey, what's up? <laughs> what's up, everyone? Uh, it's JR here. And <laughs> I, I was really not expecting this today. <laughs> All right, so, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him uh, something special I've been telling you from the previous video from MC. So... All right, so do me a favor. Just close your eyes and open like this. All right. Here you go. And then, <laughs> this is what I got right here. This is going to be surprising. Get ready. <laughs> All right. Now open them. That's for you. <laughs> no. You did not. <laughs> yes. You did not. <laughs> It came out the <laughs> knot! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's for you! I got, I got, I already got one for the mail, so oh that one, my. I managed to got another one for you for GameStop. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! 
god, I was not expecting this. <laughs> it came out today, so. It came out today? Oh. Yes. Dude. <laughs> that. Oh my god, I was <laughs> not expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah that was that was i just figured you know since i got another one i figured hey why not get to one so because i already got one from the mail so <laughs> Jeez, thanks thank you no, so much man. no problem man oh, it's all yours God. the first amiibo my first amiibo <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy <laughs> oh my <laughs> <laughs> I know. I would have like that too if I had someone else like saying the same thing. Oh man, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I, I still like yet to be this. I still get to be the original. And after this, I need to. I need to go back and and beat the entire game again with this. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. When I get the chance, I should play Persona Five Royal. Honestly. <laughs> oh yeah. So. <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much I t told you guys for this, for this special I told you earlier. Oh, oh but dude, that is so crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting that when you came over. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you say you were having a surprise, I'm like, okay, you brought over like a game or something. But this, <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I would have been like that too if I had someone else like saying the same thing. Oh man, that would have been crazy. <laughs> I, I still like yet to be this. I still get to be the original. And after this, I need to. I need to go back and and beat the entire game again with this. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. When I get the chance, I should play Persona Five Royal. Honestly. <laughs> oh yeah. So. <laughs> That's pretty much, pretty much I t told you guys for this, for this special I told you earlier. Oh, oh but dude, that is so crazy. <laughs> I was not expecting that when you came over. <laughs> yeah. Like, when you say you were having a surprise, I'm like, okay, you brought over like a game or something. But this, <laughs> this is way better. Wait, where is it? This, that is this. This is way better. Than a game. Oh my god. <laughs> yep, now you can use him anytime for Super Smash Bros. Oh my god. And he's god. gonna be your partner. Oh my god. You can actually train him for the for the for the Super Smash Bros game. That that this is crazy. Yep. <laughs> I didn't play Smash in a while. <laughs> so pretty much use your first amiibo, so my first amiibo. <laughs> My first amiibo. This is this is sick. Thank you, man. No problem, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy that nice special surprise collab video between me and Jay Hart here. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Oh my! I'm still mind blown by that. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. So when you guys have a chance, I'm I'm gonna have MC when he gets a chance. Put a link on to JR's YouTube video, and you guys should check out his video. He's been doing YouTubing for, like, how long? Um, uh, I just, I know it started last year, so, yeah. So, yeah, it's like, I'm still, like, kind of recent. I haven't uploaded in a while. Oh, yeah, which is why, uh, guys, uh, I am gonna get the new Smash character and try him out. And, uh, see, see how, see how he works? And uh, also, uh, this month, every week, like in like three days, I'm gonna be playing some some uh, games, like horror type games. Like it could be like adventure, it could be scary. Uh, I'm close to beating the uh, Outlast. I'm playing through the entire game of Outlast in black and white. There's that. Uh, Hollow Knight. I'm doing that. And maybe some other scary yeah, games. Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's so... You're, you're, gonna need that, you're gonna need to edit that part out. Right. Yeah, you're gonna need to edit that part out. But, uh... And some other scary games as well, like uh, Call of Duty Zombies, probably Left 4 Dead. And, uh, but, I mean, probably some other horror games too. So, yeah, stay tuned for those. Uh, this entire month, every week, I'm gonna make sure this time. So, yeah.
<laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much what JR's telling you guys. And yeah, check out his YouTube channel when you get the chance, because he needs all your support when you, when you guys can. If you go get something to eat, don't forget to take a key. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, so other than that, that's pretty much pretty much what Jared's been doing lately. So, so yeah, thanks for tuning in to this nice special collab video for me and J JR here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys enjoy, and this is Ethan signing out. I hope you all have a nice gaming day, and stay tuned for the today's, today's game that came out is Crash 4. I hope you enjoy it. See ya. Yep. Uh, so Ethan gave Jay Art a Joker Amiibo as well. So I'm not the only one with a Joker Amiibo in my collection. As for Ethan, well, his is still on his way. way. He got it from GameStop Online, so it's still in the mail. Yep. So let's see, guys. That, uh, I was able to actually get uh, Crash 4 Yeah. He's been waiting for a long time. Oh yeah, totally agree. Uh, but yeah, um, I think that's uh pretty much it. It. Oh, one more thing. You should tell them your progress of what's been going on with you in gaming so far, bud. Let's just say how I'm doing right now is it's gonna be and right now playing the Gears series, and recently I just beat the first first Gears. Yeah. Um, now, Ethan and I were talking when we were in Walmart earlier, and one thing that he uh, was saying is, well, why don't you tell them about what you told me earlier? Okay, so I'll be honest with you guys. I never thought I'd say this, but uh, <laughs> when it comes to if the Gear Series satisfies me until number four, I might consider getting the Xbox Series in the future. Not at launch, but in the future. So even I might not be the only one with an Xbox Series eventually. Uh, but um, that's not going to happen for a long while until after the PlayStation 5, because I think it's literally costing them $500. Yup, indeed. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, honestly pretty... Uh, pr Pretty amazing that Ethan's even considering buying an Xbox. This will be his first Xbox console that he's ever purchased. I say owned, but that was the 360 first. Right. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what Ethan's been up to. So we won't be getting around to Crash, uh, Crash 4 for a while, guys. Uh, but, yeah. Alright, buddy. Buddy, why don't you say goodbye to the fans, because then I'm just going to wrap up this video. All right, sounds like a pledge. All right, guys. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. Say goodbye to Ethan. See you guys. All right, guys. So yeah, that's all all for this video. Apologies for the cutscene in there, but unfortunately, I had to make do with this video. But I still wanted to give you guys a good outing of a video to tell you guys what's been happening behind the scenes. So the last thing I want to announce is on October 4th, um, I will be doing, I don't know exactly what time, but I will be doing a live stream for Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, um, and I will be showing off the first couple stages of gameplay. Now I do have a gameplay video coming up. Uh, Owing up with the first three stages of the game, but uh, um, we will be doing a live recording and playing a little bit further than that. That at uh, uh, uh at some point on October fourth. I say the third, but that one is dedicated to Super Smash Brothers' presentation, and I need to fo focus on that first. 
So, yeah, October 4th, we will be talking about that. Um, but yeah, the gameplay video should be going up about the same time as this video. So, yeah. Um, also, heads up, uh, we might be doing some Animal Crossing tours very soon here. I've been talking to this little, little uh, Emlila behind the scenes, and uh, she's got it together a little community. She's been doing some work inside of Animal Crossing for some people. Um, and yeah, what? Well, uh, let's just say it, it's it's pretty impressive. But uh, needless to say, um, definitely expect more gameplay soon. And of course, I will be recording Super Mario Brothers 33 at one point this month because it is part of Super Seasons, which is our uh, ten month celebration of everything things Sega, Nintendo, Sonic, Mario, all that stuff. So yeah, uh, expect more videos for that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all for now, guys. Oh, and that last dual mix, I promised uh, the past weekend. Sorry about that, getting around to that, but, you know, things happen. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed that last one, because it is one that, uh, it is from a game I have only covered, I think, about once on the channel. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, guys, it's your truly, Music Clues, signing out. See ya. Oh, 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 oh,